Hi guys, Faxi Nadu here. I want to show you some stu some stuff that I'm working on. Um, it's by no means finished. It's kind of I don't you know, can't even say it's in alpha mode. I've just started um, developing it, but I'm kind of excited about the idea, and I wanted to uh, show you what I'm, what I'm doing. So I'm taking um, Max for Live, um, essentially Max. It doesn't even have to be Max for Live uh, that we're talking about. I'm taking Max. And what I'm doing, uh, you know, as Max is really, really low level, if we look at the objects, you know, they're really cryptic. And um, for programmers, this could be really easy to get into if you're into the programming world. But for musicians, it can be like a real head scratcher if you open a new um, Max for Life device. Let's say a Max instrument. All you get is an empty window with MIDI in, plug out, and you don't even, you have no idea what's going on. And you want to make music, um, even if you know what's going on in Max, you might not want to, you know, each time just start making all these millions of connections you gotta make in Max just to get a simple device going. So what I'm doing here is I'm kind of taking um, the concept of the scope modular, if you look at the scope, and um, Let's take out, for example, a multi-OSC for this example. So this OSC already comes, um, if, if we take the same kind of oscillator that I've built in Max, you'll see that, 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 that. It is actually built out of many modules and knobs and everything like that. And it would take a lot of time to build this. So what I've done, is I've taken um, all these smaller max objects and built higher um, higher level objects. Uh, let's call them. Um, I've kind of come up with two two kind of um, term like a terminology for two types of modules that I that I can implement here. Let's call one of them um, bricks. One type bricks and one type let's call blocks. Right here we have um, mostly bricks and one block. And the difference being that bricks would be like um, an oscillator section, an envelope section, a filter section, like pre pre built um, devices, but that perform just one function. And blocks would be taking a few of these bricks and kind of putting them together into a larger larger device that is still not a full fledged uh, like plugin or synth or whatever but already has some stuff included. So for this, for example, is a sampler with an LFO already inside, a pitch LFO already inside the sampler. So this would be kind of like a, um, a building block as opposed to like just this, which would be a just a noise oscillator, which I would call a brick. So I have this concept of building various bricks and blocks. And as you can see, you can really f fast make things this way. I can take my noise oscillator and I can quickly take a mixer. Doesn't even I've built various mixers as you can see. There's mixer for three signals, for five signals, for eight signals, for sixteen signals, and I can make many more if I want. And then I can just go, you know, and make the connections really quickly instead of building the whole thing. I can take a mixer, a low pass. I'm just doing an example. And let's take the volume down because this is white noise. And go to the plug out. And we're not hearing it. There we go. So you quickly implement a whatever you want to implement instead of going through all that building process. Um, another thing is that like that is that I'm going to do. I didn't do it yet to all the modules, but labeling, of course, all the inputs and outputs. So it'll be very easy. Like on this module, I've already done it. It's very simple. It's just an in and an out. But on other stuff, you know, uh, let's take, for example, this module. It would have a signal in, a modulation in, two modulation in ins, and a signal out. So you could very easily connect Take an LFO, for example, and let's take the noise. Whoops. Ah, uh, damn, damn bug. There we go. Where's the noise? Let's disconnect this. Let's just do a copy-paste much faster. 
So let's take the noise into the filter, and then we can take, for example, an LFO into the modulation input and output that. So it's really cool. It's acting like a high-level modular. It's acting like the, the Nord modular, for example, or the scope modular. And it's much, much simpler to get around max in this kind of method. Um, another thing that, that I'm kind of thinking um, that really makes this a cool thing is, of course, that what because you're working inside max, you can use my modules, but you can also use the max modules. All you have to do is, you know, enter any max module and it, it'll interact with the higher level modules that I've built. So the whole functionality of the max platform is at your disposal as well as the higher level modules. Um, so this is really cool. Uh, another cool thing is that you can go into being being a max for live even if I want to do I can I can't lock these um, these modules these blocks and bricks so if you decide you want to, um, for example, change anything that I did, all you have to do is go inside the module. And you can, um, both both for a learning purpose, you know, you can look, see what I've done, how I've built it, and you can um, modify it to whatever you want to do. And um, one cool thing to do is actually very simple. I want to show you just one thing. Um, even if you're not that deep into Max and you don't want to go in and start modifying my patches, uh, something that I do want to give the option, and I will mention this when I make more in-depth tutorials once I get more going with these devices. Um, if you go, for example, to my LFO, you'll notice my depth knob goes, right now it's from 0 to 127, but it doesn't matter. Let's say it was from 0 to 1. Let's say it was on any any given um, parameter, any given parameter range. You can very easily change the range just by going to my knob, and I'll explain it more in-depth in a later tutorial. So you could just go to any one of my knobs and change the ranges and change the way the knob behaves. Like right here has an expo exponential curve and I actually want a linear curve for this so I can actually even save it this way. So that's a really cool way um, to integrate lower and higher level modules like I've said. Um, and the way I'm thinking to, right now you're looking at every single one of my modules, but when you will actually, when I'll actually release this and that you'll be working with it, what you will have is a folder for Max MSP called Faxi, and it'll be divided into subfolders um, for fun for different functions. Like you'd have a uh, filter subfolders, a a um, you know envelope subfolder, mixer subfolder, and etc. And you can actually, you know work in different ways. You know, you can actually drag and drop. You can let's say you would let's say for example you want my um my meter, meter two module. So all you have to do once once they're in the right folders, once they're in the in the max subfolder, all you have to do is go make a new object and Max actually already recognizes them. So meter four, it'll open it up. And if I want to open it with all my knobs, and then meter four. Oops, there we go. And you have meter four. All you gotta do is kind of resize it. So that would be one way. Another way that I've kind of thought about is having all my modules in one file like you see here, but really nicely arranged, uh, grouped and arranged. And the idea would be that, um, let's say you open, you, op you open Ableton and you want to build something, so what you would do is you would load this, you would load my template patch in one channel, and you would load an empty Max device in another channel. And then all you need to do is, you know, let's say you're working on this, and you're taking modules from here, so all you have to do is copy-paste. Oops, this went out of, what did I do? Yeah, no, in editing mode. No, I want to be in editing mode. There we go. What is going on, dude? What is going on? There we go. So all you have to do is copy paste modules from from my template. And I'm not hitting paste, am I? Ah, annoying. There we go. 
So that would be another way to, to work with this. And a third way that I'm thinking about is I'm going to have all my, because it's really kind of hard to remember what you have, I'm going to have just this, a list of all my modules. These are the ones that I have to do, but later on I'll make a list the same as this of the ones that I already have made um, with the exact names. And then that list, for example, you could copy, instead of going back and forth or opening, you, you know, opening even this big, huge template, you'll have just, just this module with the names of the, of, the module, of the available modules that I've built. And then they'll be over here. So all you have to do is press new, and you will have them all by name. And you can type in the name you know, just by looking at it, because they're already in front of you, and you know what's available. So that's kind of my thinking, and I hope to already have a release of this very soon. Uh, I just have to make sure that everything works. I think most of most of the things should be working, but uh, this being Max, there's always going to be surprises. So um, this is going to be a free release. Um, I want to use um, maybe even third-party stuff. I haven't really decided, but it's going to be um, freely available to download. I want people to fiddle around with it. And... Um, yeah, so stay stay tuned for it, and I hope you download it once it comes out. See you in the next vids, and I promise um, really in-depth tutorials about this concept. Bye-bye.